Hi guys, welcome to this uh, bit of a guided tour of using the guidance steering or GPS system in Farming Simulator 19 on the back of the conversations we had in our multiplayer stream. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, not the most comprehensive guide in the world, but it should be enough to get you uh, understanding how the system works, being able to set a course, adjust a course, save a course, reload a course, and then once you've reloaded the course, make adjustments to that course without affecting any other courses that are saved, accidentally deleting anything or anything like that. Um, before we get too far into it, we need to go ahead and look at controls. So in your control menus, once, you've, once you're in game and you've got um, GPS activated, go on down past all of the standard game controls until you get to controls for your um, add-ins. Uh, so for your mod, so I've got course play in here, uh, I've got an auto loader control here, follow me controls, uh, global company, and then here we are, GS is, is guidance steering. Um, the things you want to set up are toggle guidance steering, which I've got hit to the G key. Uh, I don't know what the default is, but if the default's fine with you, then great. If not, configure it to something you're happy with. This button will turn on and off the entire GPS system. So. If it's off, you can't load the menus, you can't activate a course, you can't do anything. If you jump in a tractor that's got GPS and you find that you can't do anything, it might be because this is toggled off, so just make note of that key. The next one is show guidance steering menu. Obviously, you're going to need a hotkey for that to get you in and out of the menus. And the final thing you need to configure is, and I've got it configured on my um, SciTech side panel, is the key to activate and deactivate locking onto the guidance route so your steering locks on the track that you've set and, and having a button to toggle that on and off is really important um, I've got it set here steering guidance is what it's called set to 23 on my side tech panel um, once you're happy with those controls you can crack on so we've got a couple of things set up here we've got a 7.6 meter I think it is cultivator set up on this John Deere ready to do the field here and we have a Massey Ferguson combine over there ready to start combining this field. So the first thing we're going to do is get a course established for this cultivator in this tractor. Now, as I come in here, let's go to the external view. Um, first thing I'm going to do is just point out a couple of bits on here with the, with the mouse. So on the right hand side, you have three things highlighted here. Um, you have, oh, uh, on the right hand side here, you've got the, the row count um, you've got the uh, guidance uh, system satellite image and you've got a, a steering wheel. Uh, the row count is basically a count of how many rows you are away from your starting point, be that plus or minus. So if it says you're five rows positive, you're five rows one way away. If it's five rows negative, you're five way, rows in the opposite direction away. Um, the satellite signal, that tells you whether your GPS system is on or, on or off. So without that on, as I said, you can't access the menu or anything. That's your hotkey for that. If it's green, it's on. If it's white, it's off. Um, and the steering wheel is the same. If it's green, it's on. If it's white, it's off. If it's green, you're locked on course. If it's white, then you're not locked on the course. And you can steer away from it. Okay. Uh, down in the bottom right here on the map, uh, down in the bottom left, sorry, on the map, I've got a bearing here of 360 degrees. So I'm pointing dead north because this field is aligned uh, north-south and has been previously planted north-south. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, if you're using fields that are aligned to the cardinal, po cardinal points north, south, east, west, then make sure you're properly aligned to that number. Um, if they're kind of uh, a funny shape or they're not set to a, a perfect angle, just align yourself as best you can with the direction you want to go uh, before you start, um, start your course uh, to give you the best results. Okay, so we are aligned. We're going to turn on the GPS system so the satellite goes green and we're going to bring up the menu. Now the first page shows you how your um, how your tractor or combine is going to use the course. The second second tab here is uh, how your is, is the actual setup of the course. So this is a brand new game, so there's nothing set up in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on lines in this menu, and I'm going to turn on snap terrain angle, and I'm going to set the auto width. Okay, um, and that's come up at 19.79 feet, which quick bit of maths yeah that's that's around seven meters so that's about right um yeah not far off is it six seven meters something like that um then i'll go into the course setting and i want to click on set a now 
sometimes, and this is the case here, it hasn't come up with a little A. There should be a little A on the screen behind the tractor, which shows me that it's registered this. If that doesn't happen, click on set B, then click on set A again. Sometimes that sorts it. In this case, it hasn't. So on occasion, what this is because you're using a device that um, needs to be in use before it'll register. So if I lower this cultivator and just drive forward a little bit, getting some uh, luggage there, uh, then bring up the guidance menu again and now try clicking on A, it's come up. So that's all that, all that the problem was. Uh, I'm already on my course, now I can close this and I'll just drive forward for uh, a few seconds, doesn't need to be much, that will be plenty. Shift G again, or, or bring up your menu again and click on set B. That's it, the course is now set, so I want to save it before I go any further. I'm on field 20, so I'm going to call this F20 Colty. And then, oh, Colty, Colty, Colty. There we go. And then, very importantly, click on this button here with the menu plus icon. That adds this to your base group on the right hand side. Okay, and this is now the loaded and active course. Go back to this, make sure you're happy, your settings are all still the same show line, snap terrain angle, auto width is fine. Uh, there's no uh, need for an offset on this, but I will show you how offsets can be helpful in a bit. Um, and then we can just close that menu. And you see we've now got three three lines on the page, on the, on the screen, sorry. The two orange lines either side represent the working width of the tool you're using. And just make sure they look about right, which they do. And the white line is the steering course. So that's what your tractor or combine will follow to do the job. If I turn on the guidance steering lock now, see my line goes green and my steering wheel icon in the, in the right, on the right hand side has turned green. That now means that I can't do anything with the steering wheel, the game's controlling the steering. I'll set my cruise control off, lower its fixed speed actually to match the cultivator because otherwise at the end of the row when I raise the cultivator I'm going to shoot it off the screen. So, so bring that down to 10 miles an hour, this is running at 9 so that's about right. As I approach the edge of the field I'm going to deactivate the lock once I get to the end of the field, I can either stop or I can just raise the device and then make a manoeuvre to get round onto the next tray. As soon as I'm happy that I'm roughly aligned, I'll reactivate the lock and lower the device and off we go and we're on to row two. No problem whatsoever. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to slow this down a bit whilst I bring up the menu. So we'll run at, yeah, let's run at five miles an hour for a bit. If I bring this up now, this 90 degree icon allows me to turn the course on the fly. So I'm going to deactivate this, the lock because I'm, I'm happy that I'm following the course nicely. Bring this up and click to 90 degrees. If I'd have done it with the course on the tractor, it would have turned straight away. Now what I'm going to do here is at the end of this row, I'm going to lift the, lift the cultivator and turn around and basically we're going to pretend like we need to do a headland here. So I'll bring it around. Let's speed up a bit. Dawdling. Right, and get it aligned now you can see here actually this is really really good so because I set the course up nicely in the first place this bottom edge of the field is pretty much perfectly aligned all I need to do is activate the course again drop the cultivator and we're going to get a nice row along this along this edge speed back up again let's see how it aligns along the other side once we get to the end here so deactivate the guidance system hit the brakes make sure we've got everything there we go it's not too bad let's back her up and let's uh, turn that course again turn back to to north south and see how well aligned it is for this edge now you can see here it's not quite so well aligned so we're on the 11th row of this field which you can see from the row count on the right hand side the 12th row is going to be too far off the edge really now ideally we don't we would have to do that odd edge normally anyway but what i'm going to do is show you how can you can use the offsets to just capture that little, little bit on the edge that would otherwise be missed it will mean that little bit is then somewhere else in the field but it just gives you an idea as to how you can adjust the course to tidy up little edge and little edge pieces without having to create a new course or do anything silly uh, and obviously if you're seeding you don't really want to be seeding off the edge of the field uh, same with fertilizing so 
let's get ourselves about here, give ourselves plenty of room to, to work with. And it looks to me like this, this is a sort of a six, seven meter device. So it looks to me like we're a good two, two meters at least um, extra we need to, to the right to, um, to capture that edge of the field. So we go into here to the uh, offset section. I'm gonna set the offset increment to its highest which is 3.28 feet. Now that's exactly a meter. So I'm going to increase my offset by two of those, 6.56 6 feet, and I'll get a red line. That red line now effectively replaces the right white line. When I put on the steering lock, that's where the tractor's going to move to. And it looks to me like that's going to pretty much capture the full edge of this field. Maybe not quite, actually. So we'll increase it by another, let's say, um, half a yard or what, half a meter oh no that's not half a meter is it that's uh, that's half a meter so we're now going to be offset by 8.2 feet it's a little bit more than that it's a bit better so now drop the device hit the cruise control and it will follow that red line instead now you see the orange lines haven't moved so what that's telling me is when I run my when I revert, when I turn the offset off, it will go back to the normal lines and I, I won't have to carry this through the whole field. I haven't actually adjusted the base course. All I've done is offset from that course, which is handy for things like clouds and that kind of thing. Now, I've reached the end of the field, so I'm going to uh, go back to uh, 90 degrees this way. Turn off the steering lock, because otherwise it's going to try and lock it for me. And I can see here that on this top row, actually, I'm going to be all right. I don't need the offset anymore. Um, it's going to be slightly off the edge of the field, but not so much as to be concerning. So I'll just uh, get a bit better positioned here. And I'm going to go back in the menu and I'm going to reset that offset to zero. Now, I'll, when I turn this back on, the track is going to move back to the original white line, lower the cultivator. And we've got a good edge again so nice and simple and now we've done a headland of the field which is a fairly accurate headland with a fairly consistent width all the way around um, stop here oh not quite done enough there there we go turn off the guidance again flip back by 90 degrees turn her around and as, as I've removed all my offsets and I haven't actually changed the base course, I'm again perfectly aligned here to carry on as if nothing had happened. And you can see here actually the, the auto width is probably slightly tighter than it needs to be. It looks on this edge as if we're going over a bit that we've already done, but then on this side we're, we're covering further left than the, the line, so in reality this line is probably perfect. If we were to adjust it we probably end up missing bits. Uh, lift again, turn around. Once we're nearly happy with where we need to be, we'll turn the lock back on, keep driving forward. And here we go, another perfect line. So it's, it really is that simple once you've got it set up. Okay, let's deactivate that in this tractor. Let's get out and we'll go and do some combining. So we've got an east-west configuration to do here rather than north-south. Oh, because that's the way this field's set. Well, that's the way we're set up on this field. So, again, already I've aligned to exactly 270 degrees before starting. Um, now, as you can see, I've got a, a white line down the middle of the, the cultivator already. But if we go in here... Uh, we don't actually, what we have loaded is F20 culti <laughs> and we don't want that. So we're going to set our auto width. We've got our lines on, we've got a snap terrain angle on. Um, there's no invert, there's no uh, offset required on this because it's a nice and balanced, it's a dead centre header. So we'll, again we'll go set A, we get a little lay on the screen so we know we're good. Drop this down, unfold the cultivator, get a running and just slowly drive forward, making sure we, we stay pretty much on that line of 270 degrees, which we are, we'll just drop slightly off at the end, we're good. That'll be enough. Bring up the menu again, 
set B, job done. Now very importantly, we need to save this course as a separate course. So this is field 19 we're on now. So F19, just delete what's already in the box. Um, and this is harvest. And then we click the save button here. We are now working F19 harvest. And you can see that because that's what's highlighted here. I'm just gonna turn off that cultivator because that's a bit noisy. Um, that's what's highlighted, so that's the course we're running. We've got the yellow lines, we've got the white line, everything looks aligned correctly. If I go back into here and double click on F20 Culti, it's now gone away, because it's, it's now thinking, well, that's, and there you see, if I move, it's now on a north-south course, which is much narrower, because that's what's saved in the cultivator course for field 20. To load back into my harvest course, double click on the harvest course. Once it's in that box, that's what's loaded. There we go. I move a little bit and that's what it's loaded up for me. It's perfect again. Okay, That's all you've got to do to load and unload courses. If you think it doesn't look quite right, the best thing, to, the first thing to check is to make sure the auto width is set correctly because if you've, say, been in one track to doing one thing and then swap devices, the auto width will be incorrect. So you might load the course and go, oh, well, it's, it doesn't match my device. That's because the last thing on that tractor was a different width. So you need to adjust the width by clicking on the auto width button. Okay, I'm now gonna come back out of here, turn on my guidance steering again, activate the harvester, activate cruise control and off we go. Nice and simple. So we'll make sure this does a couple of nice clean, I don't really want the, uh, the swath on, let's disable that. Um, As we get to the end, we're going to deactivate the lock on the steering, deactivate the header, make my nice manoeuvre to come round here. You can obviously just leave the cruise control running if you think you can make it in one, but it might be a bit tight here to do that. Let's see how it gets on with this. So I'm going to turn it on now, turn the harvester on, and then turn on the lock and activate cruise control and see how she gets on with realigning. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's a bit too much of a challenge, that one, to be fair. Uh, but it's easy enough to fix. If I deactivate the cruise control, lift the header, just back up. It'll hold the line for me. I don't need to adjust the steering. Drop the header back down and reactivate. Run the cruise control, and there we go. Job done. Nice and tidy. And we'll have a, a lovely straight line through the middle of this. Okay. So I think we'll do uh, one more line and then we'll bring the cultivator over and adjust its course to suit this field. Um, and so basically show you how to amend a, a current course to adjust for a new device or move into a different field. So lift up. Let's bring it around. Lock the steering. That's not too bad, so we can activate there. And off we go again. Simple as that. So, obviously, the guidance steering mod at 15,000 per vehicle you put it in is expensive, but particularly in big fields and or fields with a lot of undulation where you can get pulled off course easily. This is absolutely fantastic. It just makes getting rid of any of that problem. And obviously if there are multiple people playing on a multiplayer, um, playing multiplayer, if you all load the same course and have the same, so we had three of these harvesters, we all load exactly the same course. It's basically, it's impossible to hit each other. You, as long as you follow the lines, as, as long as you keep activating your guidance steering, you will not hit anyone. And you can run this without the line showing. So if I turn the lines off, now that it's all loaded and working, if I turn it, because I've got the little steering wheel symbol in the bottom, I know when the guidance steering's on and when it's not. So if I roughly align myself here and then activate the guidance steering, activate the cruise control, lower the header, I don't have to have the lines on screen, but I'm getting the same result, which is exactly what I'm after. Yeah. Okay, I think that is probably enough harvesting. Um, let's deactivate all of that. 
and we'll go and have a look at adjusting the cultivator course to suit us for the field we're running in at the moment. I don't know why I ran across there, I could have tapped. I'm an idiot. Do you know what? If I have time, I'll cut that out of the video. Right. Lifted the cultivator, off we go. Whoop. Now, let's come around here. Now, guidance lines are currently off, so let's go back in the menu and turn them on. And we need to adjust because we've already got the field. 19 harvest course is what's showing in the screen so just to be sure i'm not actually going to affect that i'm going to double click on the f20 culture course um which is is showing now it's going up and down which is, is what i want um and i'm going to turn that 90 degrees right and here we go you see this course is actually really well aligned with the bottom of this field so i don't have to do anything with it i can literally just crack on with um with going up and down but let's assume for a moment that it wasn't and I need the cultivator to be further over to the left hand side off the edge of the field. Let's say I need the tractor to be aligned here instead. Yeah. And let's get that set to 270 degrees. Yeah, I would only you'd only do this when you absolutely have to. If the course is good enough, use it. Um, there we go. So that's let's say this is what we're gonna do instead. Now actually the course is fine. At the moment so the field 20 culture course would work on the field 90 on field 19. Um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save another version of this and call it f19 culty before i change anything so i can flick back to it click that and there it is it's in the, it's in the list just make sure you see what happened then it flicked to f19 harvest when i did the save just oh, when you do a save just make sure you click back on the course you actually want um, so you don't have any problems right so there we are that's the field 19 course set we're going to set a new course now assuming that so we're assuming basically that the course we were carrying over from field 20 was no good so i'm going to set a new a point which has come up behind the tractor i'm in the right i'm on the right line i will drop the device so i don't have to go back over my work drive forward a little bit that's fine set b and that's done now this is now a second course on field 19 so i'm going to save this as f19 culty 2 and add that and make sure that's what's highlighted go back in here everything's fine the width is still fine because it's the same as it was for the previous field uh, and i'm now going to activate guidance and off i go so i now have my slightly adjusted course for field 19. but that's all you've got to do if you're using the same device when you get to a new field see if it lines up and if it does save it with the new field name if it doesn't line up create a new track and then resave it with the with the correct name for the field we're at the end so let's lift the device now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to return to um, the correct track and go back over that so because otherwise we're going to have a weird weird bit on the field and we don't want that so let's get this back over here I'm going to reload the original track for this field, which is 19 Colty. And there we go. You see it popped up with where you set it originally very briefly at the top of the screen. Then it figures out where you actually are, and then it lines itself up. So let's line that up, set the cruise control, hit the button, and off we go. And we're actually... Um, on a really good line now what i'm going to show you the last thing i want to show you is the headland um, feature so it doesn't allow you to do any automatic turning or anything like that but what it is good for is just stopping you at the end of the field and leaving you a predetermined distance away so <clears throat> you can use it for as effectively as, as a headland um, creation um, or head, you know to leave headland space um, and it's also handy if you're doing big fields and you want to walk away for a couple of minutes, you know that when you come back, your device won't have gone flying off the end of the field. So what I'm going to do before I start this row is bring the menu up again. And on the first page, look at this headland mode thing. 
This headland acting distance, or headland act distance, is the distance in meters away from the edge of the field that your your device is going to stop. Now this is a what as I say is like a seven point something meter cultivator. So let's say we we decide to stop seven meters from the edge. I press enter. That translates it to feet, so it's also telling you what that represents in feet here. Um, and I'll turn it on. Okay. And now if, I've, if we've configured everything properly, get back on this field, lock the GPS steering, lock the course, lower the cultivator. And what should happen is, as when we get to seven meters away from the edge of the field, or when the cultivator gets to seven meters away from the edge of the field, the central point of the cultivator, which is where the dots start, that's when we should that's when we should stop. Or it might be the centre of the tractor, I'm not sure, but we'll soon find out. There we go. So that has stopped us seven metres from the edge. OK, guys, hopefully that's enough for you to have a, a good starting point in the use of the, the GPS mod or guidance steering mod. 